I didn't want our relationship in any way to be about or affected by content, especially knowing because I've been a veteran in this space for so long that when you put yourself out there online, often you are throwing yourselves to the wolves of the internet and it can be a gnarly place. And this is the first time because of the engagement, you've agreed to come on Impulsive. I know I needed that (laughs) ring on my finger before going here, but it's here. So we're ready to go. Logan Paul's engagement to supermodel Nina Ugdahl was so private that he secretly recorded the proposal from multiple angles, made a 17 and a half minute video titled I Got Engaged, which has been viewed 5 million times, and then dedicated an entire episode of Impulsive to his engagement, starring his new fiance, which has around 800,000 views. But it doesn't stop there. Logan's team have uploaded a dozen separate clips from the podcast onto the Impulsive Clips YouTube channel, gathering thousands of more views, and we can't forget Instagram, where he posted a clip of the proposal which has been viewed over 25 million times. Good job, bro. Heaps private. Anyways, six months later at the Hard Rock Hotel, because Mike dragged me there to get paid a commission because he also got paid a commission. Whatever. I'm at this place. I'm having a shit time. I I get a text from Julie Elite. Hi, I'm upstairs with Nina. Come upstairs and say hi. I'm like, Nina, scroll up. Oh, Nina. Oh, this is Julie Elite, the the agent who I almost worked with for the originals. Yeah, right. I'm not going up four stories to meet you. No way. Nina takes the phone. Texted me. She's like, hi, it's Nina. I said a photo. Come upstairs. Looking cute. Yellow dress. Yep. Like a little bumble. Delightful. Come upstairs. My back is broke. I'm 30. I just hurt my back. I'm like, oh, she's kind of funny. I'll go upstairs. That's some Harvey Weinstein level shit right there. But listen, there was so much cringe in that impulsive episode. So I decided to put together a cringe compilation for you. I'll play that in a moment. But first, remember to hit that like button and become a subscriber. We're at 223 subscribers at the moment, so it's a good time to get in at the ground level. I'm also going to start pinning the best comment for every video. Anyway, after the cringe compilation, I'll take you through some of Logan Paul's grifts to put everything into perspective. It's incredible how people still trust this guy and give him all their money. But we'll get to that shortly. For now... Let's roll the tape. I saw how big it was and I was like, he did really good. Now let's make out. I mean, I, I knew it was happening. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is, there's, some, there's, there's some back and forth here. I told you this girl knows everything. Oh, I know. She's just very aware. Yeah, I'm a witch. Yeah. But I didn't even but know it was happening. That's why. I was able to do it yeah. discreetly without her knowing that Shout she was being Kevin. filmed. And then you pulled out the earrings and I was like texting my friends. I was like, okay, so no engagement this trip, but I got the Sigga's earring. And I realized it early on. Like I have a habit of self sabotage. I just do. And yeah, she does you a little tried bit. As well. it too. I did try yeah, it. Yeah, you did. And, and she even she said it. She's like, "Are you self sabotaging?" I'm like, "Yes." <laughs> Guilty. Can I, you hand me that prime? Yeah. I try to take that beat, not let that fire come out, not let that fighter come out. The fighter. For, I'm a. He's I'm an a actual combat, combat fighter. Like I'm fighting with a fighter. Like, do, like, do, is a conversation. Is it that or is it because you know she got? As you said, the Greenland gripper. Yo, <laughs> motherfucker. I said she could suck the chrome off a Cadillac. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> he, said, he said Danish Hoover. Oh <laughs> the Greenland gripper's crazy. <laughs> if my dad watches this. I think you're so pretty. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Went to go get my skydiving license. And this was another moment in our relationship where... This was rough. She just wasn't cool with this it. This was rough. Yeah. It, it, she knew I was going to attempt to get 23 jumps in like two days to I get my it was B. 27. 27 jumps in, in two days to get my B class license. And. Why? It, Why? Yeah, 27 I, jumps out of a helicopter. Like so many things. Oh, no, it was, go it, was, wrong. it was 23. It was 23. Because I, I had 27. Okay, I needed got 23 it. to get got 50 it. jumps. Yep. And, and it went from like. I was pissed. Okay, I'm not cool with this to the day of. I'm about to do it. She's like crying she's like i don't want you to do this i don't want to date a skydiver i didn't fucking sign up for this i just <laughs> I was want, like, to I want to date a skydiver no yeah, i don't like, think anybody really no wants that's to, true like that's yeah. not what i signed up for yeah. like you're a wrestler and you're an action figure a boxer. <laughs> like, i didn't sign up for you jumping out of planes yeah. 23 times in three days we haven't made out yet so ever I'm, I'm actually surprised 
Yeah. One kiss. One kiss. Just. Your breath is still weird. We, we're yeah. we're trying to figure out when we want to do the wedding, where we want to do the wedding, um, and kind of depending on that is going to be the deciding factor when we're having kids. We're going to but try. it's on the road, man. Inshallah, knock on wood. That's some A grade cringe right there, and a lot of red flags. My guy's got a rough road ahead of him, but he's no stranger to controversy. Like most of you know, a few years ago, Logan posted a video from Japan's so-called suicide forest. He came across the body of a person who had died by suicide and started filming it because of his never-ending quest to get views. He almost got cancelled as a result, so he made the cringiest apology video, which he was also mocked for, which is pretty funny. But here is Joe Rogan and Brian Redband's take on the Japanese forest video from episode 1059 of JRE. Did you hear what, about that YouTuber, what he's going through, Logan Paul? I did read that, yeah. He, he filmed someone who had committed suicide in Japan and he put it on his YouTube channel. Yeah, there, I guess there's this forest at the, yeah. the bottom of a, a volcano or something. And it's called Suicide Forest or it's nicknamed Suicide Forest because everyone just goes there to commit suicide. Yeah. And, and he was going there supposedly to film how it's haunted and then they find a body and it's pretty gross how he, you know, how the video was. He kind of joked about it. He used humor. Jamie told me that the, the thumbnail had him like posing with the guy, you know, in the background and, and, you know, he's, um, I don't know anything about him, but I know he's a, a YouTube guy right? and he's doing stuff that he thinks is interesting and provocative, you know, and f for whatever reason, the, the, the dialogue that I'd read was something to the likes of that he had done it to bring, he apologized for it, which seemed obviously felt terrible about the way people viewed it. But that he said that, um, how did he describe it? Um, he was trying to bring some sort of, a, he thought he was gonna bring some sort of an awareness to suicide, but it was like a clunky, he just didn't do it right and paid the respect that it deserved. He, he realized that he fucked up. He's basically saying he's trying to do something and he fucked up, you know? I don't know, man. It's pretty gross. I just found out that he's not the same, like there's a Jake Mm -hmm. Paul and a Logan Paul. I thought they were the same person. Why, why, why is everyone mad? I don't know what anyone's mad at him for. They mad at him because he showed you something you didn't want to see. Is that what it is? Because the video he kind of like they were like, look at his hands, they're blue, and oh, and like no, they really? kind of he kind of was very poor taste. He also advertised it like the day before, like oh. I have this crazy sick video you guys are gonna freak out about and shit like that. Oh, and, so he got a chance to look at it. and He still approved it and then released it. Yeah, and then mm. he made a thumbnail where it looked like he posed for like photo with the guy in the background it's very you know this was a person and yeah. and they're like laughing right next to this body you know it's but i don't know yeah that disturbs the shit out of us right like making like joking around you can joke around but you can't joke around near a dead guy well suicide's not funny so no, it's, it's not if the guy died like natural causes but really no different. one's laughing at the suicide they're laughing at him joking around near the guy who committed suicide like i'm not saying you should do it you definitely shouldn't I don't want to see it, but it's kind of funny that we like decide. Like you see, it's respectful, bro. But he didn't really do anything. He just showed up, and this guy was dead. You know, I'm not saying he should make fun of him. He definitely shouldn't. But it's um, it's weird the outrage that we have for it. I'm sure he made a shitload of money because it got seven million views. He made money off a of, uh, suicide. Yeah, and you're talking about. <laughs> and we're talking about. It. We're, we're helping him out. Well, the video got pulled, but I guess it got re-uploaded a few times. Yeah. He just made a second apology today. Because the first apology a lot of people said was very insincere. Yeah, I'm, I'm not defending him. Don't yeah. don't get me wrong. I'm just exploring. I, look, I, sometimes I I try to look at things from as many perspectives as I can. You know, I don't I don't uh, I don't think that you ever want to make fun of someone dying. Right. Right. When you're right there and you're 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 taking videos and you're you know there's a dead body hanging. It's a terrible idea. I don't know, I kind of agree with Joe here, it's just a stupid video, it was made in poor taste but it's the kind of shit that Logan Paul does, the guy's out of control, that's what made him so interesting to watch from the beginning, he's like the class clown if the class was the whole of the internet. Having said that, I honestly don't really care about that stuff, what gets my knickers in a knot is how Logan Paul takes advantage of his position to profit from his followers. 
The guy's a serial grifter. Nothing in his world seems real. I wouldn't want to be in his circle of friends or even work with him. The guy has no moral compass. He's been searching for clicks basically his whole life. Every move he makes is scripted or staged, which is fine if that's the way he wants to live his life, but it doesn't give him the right to steal people's money and then just completely ignore them. If you don't know what I'm talking about, here's a quick refresher on Logan Paul's CryptoZoo scam to get you guys up to speed. It's taken from episode 1951 of JRE with CoffeeZilla. I think the biggest story we probably ever broke in was either the FTX stuff, but that was already kind of going on. It's probably the Logan Paul story, mm. the CryptoZoo saga. Um that was a case where, you know, it's just the classic influencer greed story where this guy launches an NFT project, does millions upon millions of dollars in sales and delivers nothing. He promises the world a fun blockchain game that earns you money. And he he did nothing. And the project was left abandoned and people were like miserable, complaining, complaining. No one says it, but I'm not they aware don't have of a voice. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of aware that you covered it, but I don't know the story. So the, let me let me back up then. So okay. uh, Logan Paul is popular influencer. You know who yeah, he I know is. Yeah, sure. Um, so he, along with a lot of influencers, got really interested in like the crypto space. And he had done a coin before that called Dink Doink, which was abandoned shortly after he promoted it. People got invested, goes to zero, right? And he says, "Well, that's not my project. That was my buddy's project." And then like a month later, he's like, I actually do have a project, excited to announce it. It's called CryptoZoo. It's a fun game. They called it a fun game that earns you money. Basically, the idea is they're going to sell you these two things, eggs is NFT, and then there's a coin aspect to it called Zoo Tokens, okay? So you can buy these Zoo Tokens to buy the eggs, and the idea is the eggs will then hatch into animals that will earn passive Zoo Tokens. So you're... You can buy eggs with zoo tokens, and then the eggs will passively earn you zoo tokens. So people get, get all excited. All of a sudden, the de- the hatch day comes when you're supposed to hatch these eggs, and half the hatching doesn't work. You, your NFTs would turn into different NFTs. Like they would like they would transform into the animals. They go from an egg to an animal. How? Uh, it's just blockchain coding. I mean, it's just it's just. But how do they? Is it is it predetermined? Yeah. Like, yeah, it's how big, does your egg become an it's just, ostrich? It's just random. It's like it's supposed to be randomly generated uh, animals. So you and so you might get you a rhino. It, you, you might, might get yeah, get and, a chicken exactly. And then you could like crossbreed your rhino with like a chicken and get what? like a a Ugh. ricken or something and, and get even more tokens. But uh, is this it? Yeah, the, there it is. You get like bear shark. Bear shark. <laughs> so Oil like panda. So people start bear to like. Gorilla. Is this still around? So they say they're going to go back and fix it now. So Logan, after being not involved for like a year, as soon as my video comes out, he goes, damn, what a coincidence. Like I've been working on it. Like I was going to, you know, make it like launch it. In reality, he hadn't touched it for a very long period of time. But so, so sorry to back up. Okay. The, uh, half the token, half the eggs don't work and they're not actually earning anything. The whole time they said they were going to earn you these tokens, right? They're not earning anything. So the promises haven't been fulfilled. There's just sort of all this stuff going on behind and behind the scenes, Logan's quiet. Come to find out he had hired basically criminals who were selling on the back end, like some of the tokens. And he was sort of like, I, I don't know what his his thing was. I think he realized like, oh, it's not gonna be that successful. Let me move on. I think his mentality was, let me, let me just move on, right? The problem though is you have millions of dollars of investment in a thing that you promoted. You told everyone it was going to make them money, and then you never delivered anything. So my story was basically showing that, showing the victims of the scheme, and then response, he's like, well, I'm going to sue you for that. He said he's going to sue you. Yeah, he said, I'll see you in court. He had this team of a few guys who they didn't do much vetting into, and some of them turned out to be criminals. But, you know, my my feeling is ultimately no matter what happens, like when you take people's money, that's what I'm trying to like on my show, I'm trying to tell these like influencers, like when you take people's money, it's different. When you tell them you're going to make them money and you get into the financial investment game, 
Your responsibility is different. You can't just always pass the buck to like, oh, it was like a guy that's not that trustworthy. It's like, all right, that might be true. Then go fix it. Go hire some more guys that are trustworthy and fix the thing. And I think um, my experience, because I've, I've talked to Logan and, and that's why I know he didn't respond to me because I, I texted him. I said, hey, where's this money? He left me on red. Uh, but I've talked to him. And when I talk to him, you know, there's just sort of this feeling of he's like, I just don't want to think about this. I think CoffeeZilla nails it in his assessment. Logan Paul has built a massive following over the years. It obviously took a lot of hard work. It's very stressful and he made some sacrifices to get there. That was his decision and he's stupidly rich as a result. Good luck to him. He's got the clicks and the eyeballs on his content. If he wants to advertise certain products, plug his merch, partner with other advertisers, I have no problem with that. If you don't like his content, don't watch it and don't buy his products. Simple. But where things get complicated is when he sets up financial investments advertises it as a fun game, him and all of his mates profit from it, and everyone who invested loses all their money. That's some PBD level grifting. They take advantage of vulnerable people for a profit. And look, I get it. Those followers chose to invest in a scheme that was clearly dodgy. We all have to take individual responsibility for our actions. But when someone with the public persona of Logan Paul is telling you to trust him, it's going to be big. We're all going to make money. He has to bear some responsibility for not knowing the details and also for the so-called game not working as advertised. And in case you're wondering, there's actually a lawsuit against Logan Paul in Texas that's still going. Here's a quick update from Carvos if you're interested. If you haven't been following this lawsuit, Logan Paul hasn't even been trying to argue his innocence to the allegations of basically fraud and scamming his fans with a rug pull. No, no, no. Because the lawsuit is coming out of Texas, big brain Logan Paul and his lawyer's response wasn't, well, we didn't do any of this, we're innocent. It was that there was no personal jurisdiction against Logan Paul because he isn't from Texas, didn't do any crypto zoo business in Texas, never hired any employees for crypto zoo in the state of Texas. And get this, he even argued that the game wasn't specifically targeting anyone from Texas. Advertises crypto zoo to his global audience. I think my game's gonna make, uh, make some waves. Takes people's money, doesn't deliver anything and when the people who got scammed come hey logan we want some justice we want some compensation his reply is yeah well i wasn't specifically targeting texas so i think that says it all logan paul knows he did the wrong thing he even gave a half-assed apology for it but now he's got his lawyers trying to shut it down and get him out of it in court instead of just giving everyone their money back and making good on his mistake and the thing that I can't understand is the guy makes eye-watering amounts of money from his business network. His whole life is monetized. Isn't that enough? You know, sell ad space, sell merch, sell your cringe drink, even though he lies about that as well. Why does he need to screw the little guy out of his savings on top of that just for a few extra bucks that he doesn't even need? Well, I did some digging and I think I found the answer. But what's the goal? I mean, bro, uh, one word answer, money is a scoreboard. It's a game to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, where do you rank on that scoreboard? Mm -hmm. You know, how many, how many billionaires, how many self-made billionaires are there under 30? It can't be more than yeah. 10. Yeah, exactly. You know, mm -hmm. that's cool. That's cool to me. How many kids will that inspire? It's all just one big game. That's how he justifies all his failings to himself. Just pick yourself up and keep moving. Easy for him when he's got such a big machine behind him, but what about all the people that invested in his crypto zoo scheme that don't have a safety net? So with all of that in mind, flaunting his high-flying Italian getaway engagement, flashing his fiancé's supposedly million-dollar-plus ring around to all his followers – and then having his team censor any negative or critical comments on YouTube and social media, that shit just doesn't fly with me. I wouldn't be surprised if his team try to take down this video as well. Watch this space. Because I'll pretend I like I don't care, but like, no, no, no. Eventually, sucks. eventually you will. 
you won't have to because you're not going to be subjected no, we, to it. No, we're going to put Johnny into the block comments. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Remember, best comment gets pinned. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button and become a subscriber so you can keep up to date with all my latest uploads. I'll chat to you guys soon. See you in the next one. I love you so much. I love you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Thanks Thank for coming for on. That was so great, of course. Yeah, you're, uh, I, I think you're the most amazing person ever. And like, I could gas you up all day. And I think it's cool that the people who watch us all the time now get to be introduced to someone who I find so important, the most important in be my nice life. Be nice to me. It's not, nice it's not me. them you have to worry about. <laughs> it's the men who are shorter than you and are fucking losers. <laughs> okay. And they're out there and there's a lot of them.